Hello everyone, this is Funny. You are watching Funny HS Info. Today I come up with the topic Basic Safety Instructions for Pipeline Erection Works. In this presentation, the contents are the introduction about pipeline erection works, the types of pipeline erection works, safety measures to be taken at pipeline erection works, and the basic safety tips at pipeline erection works. Let me start with the introduction. Installing an oil and gas or a chemical pipeline is a complex process requiring a huge amount of preparation and care to avoid incidents. Once installed and operational, it is vital that pipelines are fit for carrying oil and gas or chemicals because the consequences of leak and rupture are very significant. Right? So, the installation process itself carries a great deal of risks to personnel, the environment and the equipment. Hence, safety measures are must in place to protect the people involved in the installation and surrounding ecosystem. Next one, types of pipeline erection works. Based on the location, there are three types of pipeline erection works. Erection of pipelines at building structures, underground pipeline works and modification of existing pipelines like uh, at pipe racks or inside buildings. Let us see one by one. First one, erection of pipelines at building structures. When installing and erecting prefabricated pipes, fitters may require to drill holes for bracketing supports or core holes through walls to facilitate the pipe routes. So here we have to take the following measures. First one, if it is suspected that hidden hazards exist at the point of penetration, relocate the work if possible. Second one, area responsible person, designee, customer or requester or other personal consultants to be reviewed the historical records, engineering plans and drawings and visually inspect the proposed location of penetration. Have to check the other sides of the walls, under the floors, or through false ceilings for hazards. NDT used to determine the stored locations or if there are any services, wall reinforcements, or if additional hazards exist. Next one, de-energized and low-to system to be followed as required. Next one, drill bits to be marked, fitted with stop or short drill bits to be used and last one appropriate personal protective equipment specified and obtained second one underground pipelines pipe fitters need to be aware of hazards of excavating or working in trenches before commencing such work in trenches the following procedures should be observed contractor shall assign a competent person to all trenching and excavating works this person shall be clearly identified to all employees assigned to the job. Underground lines, equipment and electrical cables shall be identified and located by the contractor coordinator prior to the beginning of the work that involves. Contractors will not initiate work without prior approval of contract coordinator. Walls and faces of trenches and excavations deeper than 1 meter shall be showed, sloped and shielded as required by the type of soil encountered. A confined space entry permit shall be required when oxygen deficiency or hazardous atmospheres exist or could exist. A stairway, ladder, ramp or other safe means of aggressors shall be located in any trench excavations more than 1 meter in depth. Employees shall not be permitted underneath loads handled by lifting or digging equipments. Physical barriers shall be placed around or over the trenches and excavations. And finally, flashing light barriers shall be provided at night time. 
Next one, modification of existing pipelines at pipe racks or other areas. With numerous different piping services, there are numerous different hazards associated with each services. The following table defines some risks common to the following services and the methods used to minimize the risks. First one, steam lines. Here the possible hazards and potential risks are heat burns, high pressure leaks. To mitigate the control measures are insulation and cladding of pipelines, high pressure pipeline and fittings, steam gaskets, chilled water. Here the possible risks are frigid burns. Whenever working at chilled water lines, must ensure that lines are insulated, cladding are provided. Third one, compressor gases. Here the possible hazards are gas leaks and asphyxiation. Ensure that high pressure pipe fittings, certified welding procedures, and oxygen monitors and alarms strategically located in process areas to detect leaks. Next one, water lines, heat burns from hot water lines, high pressure leak, here the control measures are insulation and cladding, high pressure pipe and fittings, certified welding procedures. Last one, chemical or solvent lines, here the possible hazards are corrosion, expatiation, explosion, excess pressure, etc. Here we have to follow heavy wall pipe fittings, special corrosion resistance alloy materials example stainless steel or hast alloy, oxygen monitors and alarms strategically located in process areas to detect leaks, ATEX rated walls and instruments, high pressure pipes and fittings, fit safety relief walls ensure there are no vent lines are fitted to the vent lines. Next one, safety tips for pipeline erection works. As you know, for pipeline erection works, first step is to take work permit. Work permit system work at height permit for elevated areas, hot work permits for welding works, and line breaking permit for existing critical line modifications to be raised. Second one, personal protective equipment must be used based on the work activity and location of the work safety helmet, safety goggles, safety shoes, breathing air suits and respiratory protection equipment to be used. All piping spools shall be inspected before the erection to ensure that they are free from welding defects, hydro tested at rated pressure. Pipe work shall be erected on the permanent supports designated for the line. The flanges shall be clean and free from any rust, dirt or other contaminations. The joints shall be brought up without forcing so that the entire matting surfaces bear uniformly on the gasket and matted up with uniform bolt tension. Next one, earth static jumpers to be provided for solvent based pipe. PVC flexible tube inserted GIU clamp to be used for supporting piping. Dummy flanges to be arranged for extra nozzles and ended flanges. All venting or dry nozzles are equipped with valve and dummy flanges. After completion of piping installation, hydro or pneumatic leak test will be carried out. Provide flange guards to be enclosed to flange joints if required. Checklist for piping to be recorded. Dismantle the pipeline from flange to flange by providing rope support throughout the pipeline. After completion of dismantling, the pipeline is thoroughly examined for reuse of pipe and its fittings. If it is not able to reuse, it is shifted to scrapyard. PTFE and glass lining pipes are lined in accordance with the relevant codes and suppliers recommendations. The lining shall be covered with the face of the flange. 
bends and elbow shall have flanged ends lined pipes and piping component shall be handled in such a way that the lining and other materials are not damaged lined pipes shall be stored under cover to protect it from high atmospheric temperatures bolt torque for flanged joints shall be in accordance with the supplier's recommendations all exterior surface of the underground piping fittings and walls shall be wrapped wrapping material shall be anti corrosive pipe protection tape shall be spirally wrapped on the piping outer surface any damage to the coating during installation shall be repaired immediately this is about pipeline erection safety hope you understand thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share my videos to get more videos thank you once again have a safe day